Ask a Speech Coach. Weak Words. Read to you by Carol Brigham. When Americans speak quickly, they stress important words. They say the unimportant words quickly and softly. It is hard to hear the little words. I call them the weak words. Words like the, a, some, he, she, we, I, you, do, does, and, but, in, on, at, for, with, and other small words are often weak in American speech. Sometimes there are two or three weak words in a row. We write contractions to show some of these weak words. I'm, your, he's, can't, I've, what's, and so forth show that am, are, is, not, and have are weak words. We contract other weak words when we speak, but we don't contract them in writing. Some new speakers of English stress the weak words. They sound funny. Other new speakers leave the weak words out completely. It's hard for people to understand them. Words that are almost always stressed in the sentence are nouns, adjectives, main verbs, question words, people's names, yes, no, and please. Ask a native English speaker to say the sentences below at a normal or rapid speaking rate. Listen to the way the weak words link to the important words. The vowel sounds in the weak words are very short. Most of them sound like a, uh, but they can also sound like e, i, u, and er. Then practice saying the phrases. Have an English speaker coach you. I'm new here. What's your name? Alonzo Gonzalez. Where are you from? I'm from Mexico. Where do you work? I drive an Uber in New Jersey. Do you like your job? The pay is not so good. I have to work seven days a week. Does your family live with you? They're in Mexico. I hope they can come next year. Would you like some coffee? Yes, please. Do you want milk in that? Just a little bit, please. How about some sugar? No, thank you. I don't take sugar in my coffee. However, you should stress a weak word when you want to contrast it with something that the listener didn't understand. For example, if you ask someone, where are you from? Perhaps the person didn't understand the question. She answers, my husband is from Colombia. Then you might say, I don't mean, where is he from? I mean, where are you from? For more information about Easy English News, and to subscribe to our digital version or our paper copies, visit our website, easyenglishnews.com.